the first of the road for the 24th of January 2020 in this um, little documentary of the premeditated and orchestrated vendetta of hate crime in Tralee uh, since I became married and since I gave birth to a beautiful child. Um, the purpose of these uploads is just to clarify a few misunderstandings and a few falsehoods that have been relayed in this community and by this community. Um, the incident of over 10 years ago isn't so much the focus of this upload, but more so to uh, set the record straight about a few um, misconstrued facts and a few serious falsehoods. Um, there's, as I said, been false information and disinformation and information withheld from me. There's also been the unethical means of attaining information and the um, unlawful use of the information that has been unethically attained. Um, privacy is everyone's priority, but it has become apparent that uh, the privacy that I'm entitled to has been very seriously violated. Um, my background, as I've said, is in education from the University of Limerick and from Hibernia College. I have a family of um, four brothers and two sisters and only one father and only one mother. Um, the reason for having to be so open about my personal facts is because there's a very dangerous situation being caused by people in this community that have no concept of what trouble they have caused. Um, in 2017, as I've said, there's been an onslaught of wrongdoings that haven't been acknowledged. Um, as a law-abiding citizen, I'm very surprised at the Department of Justice and as a victim of this kind of a situation, I'm absolutely horrified by the Department of Justice. Um, basically, as a woman, uh, qualified and educated, and from a respectable family, um, I'm just wondering, how is it in any way um, acceptable for any politicians or authorities to be ignoring what's occurring. Um, religious background aside, um, people of good faith don't facilitate adultery. Uh, people of good faith and of clean conscience and clean hands don't facilitate these kind of wrongdoings that are totally unjustifiable. Um, the issues that have been caused for me um, have only been this serious since 2017. Um, but basically, since becoming married and since giving birth. The intrusion of people in my private life and that have jeopardised innocent lives in the process of damaging my life have obviously not calculated the losses in the past two to three years with uh, the lack of integrity, the huge expense and costs, the major trouble that has been as a consequence of all these uh, wrongdoings. Um, it doesn't really send out a good message about this country. It doesn't send out a good positive message about this county either, that professionals aren't able to confront wrongdoings and that adults aren't able to amend for the damages done against an innocent woman. Um, basically, um, the Department of Justice and the other relevant departments um, that I've contacted have not actually rectified or acknowledged what I'm experiencing. Um, for a person who's been law-abiding, humanitarian, educator, etc., 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 
and as a light worker, as a royal angelic light worker, um, whose body has been desecrated and disrespected, I'm surprised and horrified at the politicians to have ignored a serious situation such as this. Um, as I've explained in my previous uploads, um, the cost of the damages done to not only my physical body but my light body also and the exploitative measures that have come about as a consequence of that disrespect shown to my spirituality and my faith and my work and my experience um, is highly disrespectful. Um, in the previous upload, I've discussed how people are trying to rewrite the script and the story to what has happened. Um, the facts are the facts, and the stories that are being told are nothing but tall tales. And those tall tales have very serious consequences. Um, the falsehoods that have been relayed aren't positive for anyone. The lies that have been told are very costly and the injustice that the Department of Justice is not acknowledging is very serious. Um, for a country of good faith, saints and scholars, etc., you know, etc., I'm surprised that a mother that has been deserted and unsupported and vilified and violated and falsely vindicated etc um is in this situation simply due to other people's issues um what does it say about the government to target or to have a, an innocent woman targeted by culprits of a shameful vendetta of hate crime that has involved very serious crime and offenses for no other reason but other people's agendas um I've not been updated about matters that pertain to me and my circumstances. I've sought from the Department of Justice and the Department of Social Protection, etc., that um, I was in need of information with regard to up-to-date developments in this country. I've not been given the information that I've sought and I've not been informed of what I should be informed of. So um, I'm just wondering, is there any conscience by the Department of Justice um, for the spiritual violence that has occurred, for the abuse and other violence that has occurred and um, for the thefts that I've experienced and the negligence I've experienced? Um, I'm just wondering, what message does that send out to Europe? And what message does it say about Irish people that a woman qualified and deserving and that had earned until defamation decided to desecrate her name, good name and reputation, Griffin, Fernan, McElligot? Um, I'm just wondering, is there any respect for women's positions these days as married women and mothers? Um, is it just a case of people, as I've said, saying what they want and doing what they want without regard for the consequences for the future? Um, so as I've said, this is an issue for the Department of Justice. Um, there's information I've sought from the Department of Justice that I haven't been equipped with. Um, I'm a lady that has been wronged by individuals that have helped themselves to what they have not in any way any entitlements to and um, basically as a person reporting wrongdoings um, there are as far as I knew um, laws to protect such citizens from retaliatory measures. Um, why is the Department of Justice ignoring this and why would other people um, that haven't any interaction with me be causing so much trouble for me. 
How could people that don't know me claim to know so much about me? How many falsehoods and lies um, are going to be perpetuated and facilitated? Um, so rewriting history and rewriting my story and what my experiences have been um, very serious. And um, as regards any further threat to my constitutional rights, um, after what has happened to me in this country and after what has been taken from me is also even more serious. Um, so as a law-abiding citizen and as a peace campaigner, um, I'm just wondering, uh, would the Department of Justice and the Taoiseach um, etc. All relevant ministers acknowledge how serious this is. Um, we all have our rights and entitlements and children and adults all deserve to have their rights respected. Um, so as a person that has reported these wrongdoings that I've already experienced and as I'm already fully aware of how dangerous circumstances are with people that have no regard and no logic to their actions or conduct or consequences for their behaviour. I'm wondering, are there any Irish people, politicians with any sense of logic, rationale, integrity, etc., to uh, basically confront the wrongdoings that are being perpetrated against a deserted wife due to people's agendas? regard to property and that have caused very serious damage to my family and that have stolen quite a substantial amount and that have also perpetrated a very serious spiritual assault that um, has very huge consequences. Um, so as I keep saying, it's a sad sign of the times and it's absolutely disgraceful um, that as a qualified professional that has experienced medical negligence as a deserted wife, unsus unsupported, um, receiving €200 Euro per week, not even able to get the disability allowance that I'm entitled to, not even able to get the legal rights that I'm entitled to respected either with regard to what I'm experiencing, um, is a very sad sign of the times for the Department of Justice not to be able to uh, assist to rectify and amend the damages done to an innocent woman. Um, so, as regards other issues that are potentially threatening my civil rights and my liberty, um, there are laws that safeguard and entitle me to protection from such individuals and such offences that, um, you know, the Department of Justice need to acknowledge. So um, that's my first upload for today, the 24th of January. Um, I hope the Department of Justice understands the situation that has been caused for an innocent woman, mother and wife, teacher, humanitarian and peace campaigner, and that has contributed extremely positively to the community, but has been very severely wronged, abused and exploited. and. Um, is very distraught with this circumstance and it doesn't give a good impression of this country to be scapegoating an innocent mother.